Logic zero, example 26.4, another proof in two steps. Okay, so let's complete this proof. We're given two premises here, A only if B, and second premise, not B. And we're supposed to get to not A or C in two steps. So let's see how this goes. Uh, not A, only if B, and not B, we can use the rule of modus tollens. Let me grab that for us. So modus tollens will allow us to justify line three. So we have P only if Q, not Q, therefore not P. A only if B, not B, therefore not A follows the same pattern. So we can justify not A here in line three by appeal to lines one and two using the rule of modus tollens. And now we have to get to line four, since I've indicated that this can be done in two steps. We know that line four will get us there. Uh, but what justifies this? Let's take a look at our rules. We have not A, and then we just want to get not A or C. So if we go back to our list of rules, uh, we're going to, and, and one, this is kind of a hacky way of, of, uh, figured out what the right rule is here. Notice how we have P only of Q. There's no disjunction in modus ponens. So we're not going to use that. There's no disjunction in modus tollens, right? We need a conclusion that has disjunction. Uh, no. Oh, how about constructive dilemma? P or Q. This has like three premises and that doesn't look right. Maybe that works. Uh, conjunction in the conclusion. No, that doesn't work. P, uh, how about this? P or Q is in the conclusion. That looks very promising. All we need is just to have P as a line above line four. So let's take a look at this. Oops. Let's see. Uh, line three, if we take that to be our P, then we can just append or Q or C here. Uh, just let C be equal to Q. And we can go directly from line three to line four using addition. And that's, that, that's what we were supposed to prove, so we're done.